35 years before I went to university, I never used chaudhuri or burqa. But the woman <coughs> situation is worse now in comparing with 30 years before, with 40 years before which I lived in Afghanistan. Now everyone has burqa. They don't have any right. They just treat it like not like, uh, just they treat it like a TV or a radio. Somebody is selling to each other, somebody to just uh, giving a present to each other. And the woman situation, it is not acceptable. Um, it is the, uh, the girls, they are going to university. I saw myself five years before in Herat. They went to Chaudhary, to the university. Near the classroom, they take it off. Why? Why should it be like that? I don't want today be without hijab. We are two Nahiba, Islamist country. One is Iran, one is Pakistan. They don't have chaudhary. They have hijab. I'm accepting myself, actually, I'm putting if I'm going there. But I don't know why we keeping a woman on that baladi chaudhary or burqa for how long, for how many years. That is too much. Because you are a parliament member, because you are a fighter for human rights, I think you must think this too and take it up in the parliament. That is wrong. That is it. For Afghan women today, the question it is not to have or not a chaudhary. The question is that she is killed every day, practically accused for sexual relationship, without court, without legal judge, and without Boris or lawyer. The situation of Afghan woman, it is a disaster for every one believe in human rights warriors. And especially it is a disaster for the human rights soldier in Afghanistan. Two weeks ago in Afghan district, they killed a woman accused for sexual relationship, for example. But they didn't kill the man. Why? Because the man was rich and give the some Afghan press say uh, about less two thousand dollars. <coughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, when in Afghan Parliament in 2005, I think, the Afghan MP decided to put out an MP, Miss Malala Joya. I was allowed to protest, but I was one MP between 248 MP. But never, never, the international community protests against this illegal decision of Afghan National Assembly. One of the reasons that I say the international community, the civilization of human rights values, they lose or lost their values in Afghanistan it is exactly the woman situation in Afghanistan. The woman in Afghanistan, it is not 68 MP woman, no. The woman in Afghanistan, in general, I say, they, there is sentence by a man to kill in public a woman accused true or not. We don't know because there is not court, there is not judge, there is not investigation. Accused by one man and killed the woman 
we don't to kill the man because we, for relationship we must be true. So I understand very well, but unfortunately, when I cry in Afghan MP, not only for human rights but for against corruption, for a new political system, the large majority of Afghan MP say uh, you are crazy. When I say we cannot put in our pocket $4,000 and at the same time Afghan people, they have not a bread. So they, they say to me, why? You must think about your interests, not other interests. So I try to do my best and I hope to have some results also. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.